Hi, this is Bill. On this demo, I'll be showing you about the catalog builder, right? So let us start by making um, a user first. So under the user administration, right? So let's create a, a role or a persona, right? So let's probably, let's start with Clark Kent and let's have Clark, Clark.Kent. Right. Okay. And then let's have, let's have, um, Clark Kent. That can have example. That com. Right. So let us save his user. Right. So after saving his user, right. So I think, okay, we have already Clark Kent. Let's try zero one just to, um, be successful. So, um, I have duplicated it. So now let's go to, um, Clark. Right, and probably let's let's use the original one, the Clark Kent. And what we're going to do after um um creating this user, right? So let's add a role, right? So let's add a role, um, catalog admin, right? So he will be the persona or the role will be um basically would be able to create um um service catalogs now let us impersonate him so i'm going to the right upper right and let's um go to clark clark that can there you go and impersonate that user so after impersonating now let us use his um credentials in creating a catalog right so let's do that i'm going to all and do a search of catalog builder there you go and as we drill down to the catalog builder, what you will be able to see is a wizard, right? A wizard and basically coming out from, from a template, right? So you have um, um, multiple templates over there. And, and on the right, you will see the different um, catalog items, uh, which has already been created. And now let's just create one. Let's create a new catalog item. And... And as we create, you will see this is what I was talking about. That you will be basically guided, right, to um create a catalog. So it will it's making your life easier, right? And and the the uh flow, right, you will be asked on what template that you will be using, right? So it could be um an app intake template, depending, right? Since our example is more on um a service catalog type, so let's choose this one. And as we choose it, uh, it will show you on the right uh, the uh, outcomes or uh, the picture of what your um, catalog item will be look like. So, um, so I'll leave it up. Um, I'll leave it to you to explore, right? So from here, the categories, where is it going to be in, and so on, right? So let's um, use this template, right? So I um, recommend to get your hands dirty, as you basically have. Um, more experienced then you will know basically how it works. So item name. So let's that could be probably a Huawei mobile, right? And uh, you could have a short description. So let's let's say um Huawei mobile um short description. So I'll, I'll leave that to you, right? And it basic basically gives um a high level view of of this item, and you could add an image. Right, and you could have a more detailed, a more detailed um description here, right, and and as we do that, so on the left, right, so and and on the lower right, so it it is a hierarchy, right, so um of what categories um it will be in. So from my previous demo, um you could filter that out, right, remove accordingly by put uh, by drilling down to edit um selected categories so appropriately where it should be i'll leave that to you and the topics is be it's the searchability right so um it has to be searchable of course and it has to be a certain correct topic right now on the question side so we could basically um add the question right so let's um, do an insert have a new question and by clicking new question right so it's asking us what type Right, so is it um an option, a text, right? So as you can see on the right there, it will give you a preview. 
So uh, what is the question subtype? So right now I'll just make it single. So what is the label? What is the name of the question? Right. So let's say um how many uh, mobile will you need? Right. So you have that question. And as, as you do that as a label, it creates a variable, variable name, right? And and um, as you can see here, that variable name is this question on the right, mandatory, right? Or oh, depending on your strategy, right? So let's continue to um, have a, a default value if you want to, right? You could have a default value, but I'm not going to put any, right? So let's continue as you can see. Um, it's it's basically help helping out the end user who will be um uh, doing the order right so it, it's helping them right so give them a picture of what should be there and not should be there right so uh, i encourage you to make mistakes basically right and as you um make mistakes you will get to understand um what's this for and as you um 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 create this question you could add more um questions as needed be right and and um, right now I'm only going to create one question, right? But I'll, I'll leave it to you. You could have multiple questions, right? And let's continue to settings. And as you can see here, because it's templated, but it's following the parent template. That's why um, it has this um, fields already um, grayed out, right? So it's up to you if you like to um, do those additional settings. So who will have access? So it will follow the parent settings, right? And let's continue. Right and and what workflow, right? So um, depending on depending who will be the approver, right, and so on. So um, so let's have a look. Um, so basically, let's have service catalog workflow, right? So there you go. So um, so we have a separate um, um video for the workflow. So I choose one um, and that will basically. Uh, run probably meaning once the order is basically created, then it will follow the steps right um, on the workflow. So it's it's as simple as that. You're just attaching the workflow, right? And this is the name of the workflow, right? So let's now submit, right? And after submitting, right, then you could um uh, this is now will be published and available to be searched in, in the service portal, right? Under those categories. Which has been um, which has been um, um, um basically create pre created under that template. So as you can see over there, it's already here, right? So I'll leave it to you to um uh, drill down, and that is how you create a service catalog under um using Catalog Builder. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.